week for the boy, and then camper of the week for the girl. So at this time, it, it is really a, a great honor to be able to, to call this young man up, and I would like to call John. was the Red Sea, leaving the Blue Smurfs with 177,000. So at this time, what I'd like is the captain to come on up here. Actually, let me have all the team captains come on up here.
jealous person going to Calvary because Gospel Light has Joey. I, I'm very jealous. I'm very jealous. I wish Joey was closer to our, our home, our church. All right, at this time, I would like to call up the Cornhole Champions. So the runner-up was Gabe and Colton. Come on down. Yeah, I saw this tournament. It was very good. It was really good. It was a close game. And the winner of this year's Cornhole Champion is Rachel and John. You all get to hold the bracket. You get to take the bracket home. Everybody had their balls knocked in. 
Caleb knocked his last ball in, and at this time, I'd like to call Caleb up here. Okay. I'd like to say a few words. I'd just like to thank all the people that helped me on the way. Lizzie, Alex, Houston, and Colton. Tournament, but it was for the adults. Should we even recognize that? One? So I would like to ask the runner up to come up. And that was Tyler and Josh. I have nothing for you, but shame and dishonor. But I'd also like to ask my pastor to come up because he was on the championship team. It was a team effort. Here, let's, let's hold it up and get our picture taken. Hey, brother, you're here for leaving early. Pretend. All right, all right. Oh, I also would like to thank some people that helped us. I, I would like to thank Kevin and Ingrid. I would like to thank Joelle, Joelle and Micah. And lastly, I'd like to thank Tyler and Josh. And really, I'd like to thank Tyler most of all, because it's because of him that I got partnered with my dad, because he said he was going to leave my dad and find a new partner. And um, that's why we were able to do this today. So thank you, Tyler. Couldn't have done that. And, and once again, Tyler, you broke my heart. All right. So now we come to the point where it is a little bit more on the lighter. And I, I want to start out with this one. I saw something uh, this week was just uh, a mirror. It was plainly, I mean, uh, there's no other words for it. How this took place, I, I don't even know. So I want to call Joey up here. Joey was Superman. In that game, if everybody remembers, nobody could hit him. He stopped and dared everybody to hit him, and it couldn't be done. He, he took on all the giants and won and walked, and then he ran, and then he popped out his chest and ripped open his shirt, and I just saw that S, and I said, yes, yes, it's Joey. He is Superman. Tamara up here. Tamara. Tamara. I will never get your name right. Tamara tomorrow. So, one thing I have, I love her coming to camp, and I, I am so thankful that you're coming to camp. You are the speaker. She is the speaker. When it comes to games, this is all I hear. And I look over and I say, who is that? And it's her. This next one I'd like to call up is Edie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I really, really depend on a lot of input coming from your cabin, from your teammates, and all this stuff. So they have told me that evidently there's some stuff going on up in the cabin, and they really believe you could probably use this. It is gas relief. And then let's go ahead and stand. 
stay on that same kind of topic here. I'm going to call. I'm going to go ahead and call two individuals up here. You know, and it, this is kind of fitting because they're brothers, Eli and Isaiah. Come on down. So, once again, I, I heard stories. Now I just heard stories. And the thing about it is, I don't even know if y'all know that this even took place. One of them, help me out here, who was the sleepwalker? Eli! So Eli was sleepwalking, and then it sounded like he had this going on the whole time he was sleepwalking. So, and then, Without even really saying anything, I'm just going to say, and Isaac, Isaiah, he needs this. You need this, like you need this. Is that what? That's a really good thing. That's a really good thing. You, you can sit down. a young man to come up, and I, I saw this, and already, everybody kind of already knew he was going to be the one that was going to get this, but I looked over at breakfast time today, and I saw this young man arm wrestling, and it was like, oh my goodness, so we have this, it is the Hulk, and I, I, don't, I think without a doubt, everybody in here knows who this is going to, Luke, come on down, Luke, come on down, Luke, I mean, look at this beast. And I'm gonna tell you, Lyra, you were totally wrong. He should have won the best pickup line. He had it nailed. He was the, he was the Hulk. There. One more pickup line, please. Do you know CPR? Because my heart just stopped. You can't make that stuff up. At this time, we had a person that was on a team and was just always cheering, always very enthusiastic, very uplifting, and I just believe this person needs to go home with a little bit of help because they need these. And they, I hope they keep these in life and I hope they constantly are just cheering people on LMA. No speech. So now it is amazing that we came through camp this week and and all the if you dares and all the all the things that took place. We had one special person that got it. And I would like to ask Rebecca to come up here. She was the queen. And she did great as the queen. So I would like to give you this little. Oh, yeah. Now, as, as we're giving out these, though, I, I do want to recognize one other person. And I, I do believe this person needs it, too. And that is our sleeping beauty, Jacob. So I have these two sticky hands. Who do you think are inseparable here? These two, and I'm gonna give you a hint, it's two girls. Come on down. I love seeing such good friendships. You two need these. And what a beautiful 
song, y'all. Fun tonight. Everything about it is just perfect for y'all. Now, every day I came up, I came up here, I gave a, 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 a cabin report on how things looked and how things just kind of smelled, and, and I, I really just felt bad. So I'd like to ask Cameron and Kevin to come on down here. If you, I, just as a reminder, this was cabin three and cabin 12, and I think everybody knows the deal that was going on, right? So, I, I hope that they're not completely just destroyed by this week, so I'd like to give them a little bit of uh, air freshener for them to clean out their sinuses, and hopefully it will help them just to, to live a cleaner life from here on out. Thank you, Dr. Beach. None of this would have been possible. Kevin Three, stand up. Now stand up. These are the filthy guys. They're, they're, so they, they don't know how to clean. Except for Alex. I will tell you, Alex, Alex made sure all this stuff is Sit down, Alex. Sit down. Not one of us. All right. All right. So now I'd like to ask for Lyra to come here. Wow! Come on now, Lyra. You know what? And why I'm here on this topic, let me go ahead and ask Josh to come down too. Come on down, Josh. So I was told that there was a, this one individual that caused a lot of pain, a lot of, just a lot of soreness. And they, they really, really thought that you needed to be the muscle rubber. And the one thing I really loved about this was Josh was there to give you all day pain relief. So all the day he was constantly just wrapping a foot or, or doing something like that. So, so I, I thought it would be best for y'all to get this. I don't know, maybe I should have gave this to Mrs. Stewart. Maybe that's who needed it. No, no speech for you. Where's my buzzer? That doesn't shock me. for this, you never know who's going to be the one that gets this award. So I would like to ask Joel to come down here. Now I'm going to show you all this really fast here. I, we just thought, this is her, right? I mean, constantly just smiling and just kind of laughing and just enjoying life. Now look at her, she's giggling right here as we speak. But I want you all to see something over here. She's demented. If you fell and, and broke your knee, guess what she would do? <laughs> if you fell in, in mud and, and you started just crying, guess what she would do? <laughs> so she deserves this. She will smile. I'm, my poor mom fell upstairs. I laughed. <laughs> All right, at this time, I need to ask our pastor to come down here, because this is really, I really want him to pass this up. I will say, and I, I witnessed this, I did really witness this. Um, there was an individual that it just seemed like all week long, he was constantly, so we got some insect reports that I would like to give this to you to give to him. Yeah, all week long, when I was just trying to relax and enjoy myself out in the lake, Caleb would come and was trying to jump on my back, trying to take me down, saying that he was gonna beat me up. And what I really need is just some repellent. So I need to repel him, this little insect away from me. Hey, do you have anything you'd like to say again? Do you have a speech? Can we have a speech? Do you have another speech? Speech, 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 speech. I don't know. For external use only. What is your 
For external use only. Alright, at this time I want to recognize three individuals that has just been a real big blessing to me, a big help. And, and, and I, I actually gave them nicknames before I came here because I was bringing three Hebrew slaves. And, and I'd like to bring up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And that would be Kevin, Tyler, and Zach. So, I've got some little bookmarks for them to go by. So one is, be bold and encourage. One says, enjoy simple pleasures. And the other one is, love what you do. Any speeches? Uh, I did very terribly in formal, and it was not a very good thing. Kevin took the people. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, guys, for all that you did. All right, this is going to be our very last one, and I'm telling you, this couldn't have fit it any better. But I'm telling you, I was moved by this this young man all week long, and and I, I really, really felt for him. And, and his message this morning really just grabbed my heart, and it just made me feel bad. I would like to um, call up Micah. things I love listening to this morning is just what a good hard worker he is and how you know he wants to work he likes to work and, and, and he knows that if he did this he could really make a lot of money but he, he's doing the most important thing and without a doubt he's doing the right thing but I we thought about this and we thought you know what maybe in your office if you ever felt like building something though this could be a help to you so you just put that together and, and just kind of build something well, well it comes with nuts and bolts and that's the type of people I work with. And I got nuts and bolts for you. So if you have any come to my office. All right. Guys, this has been a blast. This has been a, such a good week. I, I am really, really thankful for being here once again. You have something you'd like to say? You, you, you want to oh, okay. Um, yeah. This year, this year um, was really, really interesting for me. This year, I was a little concerned about if I was even going to be able to make it this year. I am retiring, so next year when we come here, I am going to be for the first time in my life without a job. And that is very, very exciting. So, I'm not retiring from this, I'm retiring from my work. <laughs> I'm going to be here next year. I just want to have to take leave next year to be here, and that's so, so, so exciting. So, Brenda, you got something? Just the knows that I like coming to this camp a lot and stuff, and last year I made you guys some stuff. This year I have uh, these Camp 2022 magnets on the back, and I have a lot of people ask me about um, where the videos are at, and I got a YouTube card with the channel on it to where you guys can go watch everything I film yes. at the camp. So I mean, I have it from 2019, 2020, and 21 on there already. did for him, and it just reminds me so much of what he did for me, and I, I'm 
I'm thankful for that. And uh, just just a few years ago, he got saved, and he has just been completely on fire for God ever since. You know what? I, I have a um, I have a, a, a nephew, and he married a young lady, and I, I love what she said, and I, I'll share this with you. And this is really where y'all should be. She made this statement. She says, "I'm chasing God. I don't care about any boys. I don't care about any man. I don't care." I'm going to chase God. If any man can catch me, they can have me. But they have to be chasing after God. I love that. Yeah, and my nephew, he married a very sweet young lady, and they're happily married, and they, they're serving the Lord. And I absolutely love that. That is some good advice right there. Chase God, and, and uh, if a guy can catch you, or if a girl can catch you, then it's meant to be. Amen? That's a, that's a good note to end on. Now... It has come to the time. We are at Jesuit. Oh, yeah. oh, I just want to say, I've heard about you at the same time. It is one. 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 You need to come up here. See, I live in a spell on the wild way. That's a very legitimate answer. Um, he has he has asked this question: Have we checked Cameron's phone for any responses yet? For the for the nice cologne from, the, from his buddy. Did he happen to wear a Hulk? <laughs> all right, all right. Well, at this time, it is it is pretty dark. I'm going to give you all some time. It is time to play Romans and Christians. So if I know y'all take this very seriously. Go ahead and take some time. Go get dressed. But then come right back here as quickly as possible.